Now about 165 pounds for Concordia. Be a senior from Circle Pines, Minnesota, Brandon Holupsock. And he'll be taking on the third ranked wrestler in the country. A senior out of Gilbertville, Iowa for Wartburg. This is Cole Welter. All-American last year, placing fifth at the Division III Championships. And already 13 seconds in, we've got our first stalemate. Wartburg's won four of the first five, including the last match where Drew Wagenhofer beat Kyle LaDuke, a matchup of nationally ranked competitors. The match Concordia needed to have in order to put themselves in position for the upset. But again, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Wartburg with nine out of their 10 wrestlers ranked in the top 10 in the country in Division Three, And Welter will strike first with the takedown on the edge, gets a fresh start with 2.14 remaining. And already Cole Welter out to a 2-0 lead. The senior out of Don Bosco High School in Gilbertville, Iowa. And the Welters sandwiched with Drew Wagenhofer in the middle in this Wartburg Knight lineup. Inside wrist to the right side. Throw in the leg. And another quick geography lesson for you. Holupsock out of Centennial High School. Circle Pines, Minnesota. That's technically Blaine. Well, it's technically not Blaine, or else he'd be from Blaine, but it's right there in the Blaine line on the north side of the Twin Cities Metro. It's actually about five minutes from where I live. Depending on snow, of course. Exactly one minute of advantage time. In favor of Welter. Alupsak up to his feet and back down to the mat. One thing you've seen from Wartburg almost in every one of their victories thus far, they have accrued riding time. Riding time advantage, so tough on top are these knights. Welter, like a leech here, isn't giving Lupsock any room to breathe there on top. Coming up on 20 seconds, riding time approaching two minutes, and Welter will uh, drive his opponent out of bounds, come back and get a fresh start. Fifteen to go. No, ex well, we had exposure. We didn't have any near fall there. Two and one, and that'll be the first period with Cole Welter out to a 2-0 lead in two minutes of 15 seconds of riding time. So he'll up sock. Ask Joyce, and he'll start down. Why not? Welter throws in the boots, flattens out, hole up sock. Still with wrist control, now posts on the head. Might be trying power half to that far side. Actually the left side, depending on your camera angle at home, folks. And now there's a stall warning on hole up sock.
Legs no longer in as Welter just kind of, well, one leg was in, basically sitting on his back. <laughs> Not a whole lot you can do. It's like, hey, get off me. 113 remaining here, second period. Wubsock up to his feet, trying to peel the wrist. Welter trying to lift in return. And Welter says, you know what, enough of this. I'm just going to kick you out. One point escape. 2-1 lead for Cole Welter, the All-American from Wartburg, ranked number three in the country. Welter in on the shot, and Lubsock trying to use old belly tilt to kick Welter over. And we've got a stalemate on the edge, 40 seconds remaining, second period. And Wartburg, winners of 44 straight dual meets. And in conference, folks, within the Iowa Conference, which is kind of like the Big Ten of Division Three in terms of its depth and quality of competition. And there's two more for Welter, as we we're saying. The Iowa Conference and the number of All-Americans they put out each year is, is quite impressive. But what's even more impressive is how good the conference is, is how good Wartburg has been. They've won like 100 and their win streak in conference is in like the 160s, 170s. It's, it's crazy. They haven't lost since Jim Miller had hair, like real hair. And that'll end the second period. 4-1 lead for Welter. Riding time is assured no matter what. It's three and a half minutes worth. And Holupsock will start on top. Throws in the leg. It's looking power half. Now he's got the two on one with the inside wrist. And we've got a stalemate, 137 to go. Forward roll through, one escape, now five to one. Snap, snap, level change. Walter really didn't look like he was gonna take that shot even though it looked like the opening was there. Low ankle for Welter. And Holopstock getting into a little bit of a head-to-toe scramble here. 45 seconds remaining. Trying to peel that wrist. Got one leg free, trying to get the other leg free. And there he comes around and gets the takedown. So now five to three with 30 seconds remaining. And that riding time is assured. And there's a stall warning on Welter. And at this point, he can afford to take a few of these. Well, maybe not a few, but a couple. And we got a stalemate with six seconds to go. Two and one, and that will do it. So tack on a point for riding time. Be another victory for Wartburg as Cole Welter will pick up a 6-3 decision and extend the team score lead now to 15-3. Coming up, Landon Williams at 174.